In this video we're going to release all the tension in the upper neck and shoulders that can be due to poor posture or a lack of activity or stress. And by the way, I am in the process of creating an entire online course for stress indu induced back pain because stress stays in your body. It's usually stored in the upper neck, shoulders and lower back. And uh, I'll make sure to keep you posted. I'll let you know when it's coming out. I'm Noko Mabo, and I want to invite you right now to subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you are new to yoga, you can grab your downloadable welcome package in the description below. In this video, I'm going to be using a yoga strap. If you don't have a strap, any belt will do, or even a towel that you can roll out. I will also be using yoga blocks. You can use books instead of yoga bo blocks. Let's get started. So the first exercise you can be you can be standing, you can be sitting on a chair, you can be sitting on the floor. I like to sit on my knees. You can even put a block or even two blocks underneath you or pillows to elevate your hips. So you want to be comfortable for the next few minutes. And we're gonna start with some deep breathing. Palms on the thighs. We're gonna inhale in two counts and exhale in four. And breathing in and out. Two, three, four. Breathing in and out. Two, three, four. Keep going like this. If you are used to yoga, to yoga breathing or breath work, you can inhale in four counts, exhale in eight. Breathing in and out. Again on your own. And releasing. Letting go back to our normal breathing. Placing our hands on our shoulders, we make small circles with the elbows. And I invite you again to close your eyes, just noticing the sensations in your shoulders. And you may start noticing some cracking or some tightness in one side of your body. If this is the case, just slow down, take a deep breath, and exhale. Same breathing exercise we did earlier. Let's make the circles bigger with the elbows. And let's see if we can bring the elbows together all the way up. Out, back a little bit, and down. And again, in. Keep them in, in, in. And pointing up if you can, or as much as you can. And opening the chest without popping the ribs forward. So it's just from the shoulders, bring the elbow slightly back. Down, this is still behind you. And towards the front. Make sure it's not uncomfortable. Okay, move very slowly and carefully. Work at your own pace and within your own range of motion going to reverse. So what we're doing here, it's warming up the joint and also lubricating the joints. When you move your joints, you bring some synovial fluids, keeps your joints healthy. It's nutrients to your joints, keeps them loose. And let's end here. Let's get into a child pose to open up the shoulders even more. So one or two blocks, or you can start without block at first. Big toes together, knees wide apart. Let's bring the hips down. And from here, bring the chest down. And right here, you may already feel stretch in your shoulders. Big breath in. Exhaling, pressing the chest down. Breathing in two counts, breathing out four. For those of you who want to go a bit deeper, 
can place your wrist on the block. We can have two blocks and do the same thing with the arms a little bit wider. It allows you to go deeper into your shoulders. And notice if you feel any difference between your right and left arm. I'm almost sure you feel a difference. Probably stiff on the left side if you are right handed. And releasing. Cat and cow. Fingers spread out wide, middle fingers pointing straight front. Inhaling, we release the belly, releasing the tailbone, opening the heart, gazing forward. Exhaling, we tuck the tailbone under, lifting the belly away from the floor, tucking the chin towards the tailbone. Inhaling, releasing, belly drops, chest open. Exhaling, Tailbone towards forehead, forehead towards tailbone. And center. Let's sit up. Again, you can be sitting up. I like to be on the block on my knees. And we're going to be using this strap. So here, with your strap, your towel, arms extended slightly wider than the shoulders. And what you're going to do is pull the hands apart. And the muscles in your shoulders and upper back are contracting. It's called an isometric contraction. There's no movement, but they are contracting. After you contract a muscle, it's easy to stretch it. Keep pulling apart. And releasing. Okay, make sure you have a white stance to start, a white grip to start. And inhaling, we keep pulling apart. Make sure you're not popping the chest forward. Ribs in. Exhaling down. Inhaling, pulling the arms apart. See if you can go further back, slightly further back. Adjusting the grip, you may have to go a bit wider. See if you can go a little bit past neutral position. And exhaling down. Okay. Inhaling, pulling the arms apart. Avoid popping the chest forward, keeping it straight. See if you can go a bit further back. And pulling the chin back. So you're making a double chin forward and back. Inhaling, exhaling down. And again, <laughs> inhaling, coming up. A little bit further if you can. And slowly down. <coughs> so now just stretching sideways, pressing the opposite shoulder down, really feeling the stretch going from the behind the ear down towards your spine. Breathing in two counts, out in four. Again, breathing in and out. One more. Slowly back to center. Other side, inhaling. Exhaling. Trying to lengthen the neck. Pressing the opposite shoulder down. Couple rounds of breath. center. I'm going to stretch the back of the shoulder, arm extended, bring it across using your opposite hand, coming and pulling in. 
and with your head turning your chin towards your shoulder and chin center inhale chin to the other side and chin down notice where you feel the stretch in the back chin back to center breathing in exhaling side stretch again chin back to center inhale exhaling side and chin down this one feels really good i feel it right here i feel the left trapeze is a little bit tight and center releasing now do you notice the difference between the shoulders Uh, the side extend the arm arm across inhale exhale pull hold it right here so in the description below um i'd like you to tell me whenever you get tight shoulders or neck is it due to poor posture lack of exercise stress or maybe something you do or all of the above <laughs> i'm just curious big breath into the nose and exhale four counts turn the chin to the shoulder i really feel this one inhaling exhaling center inhaling exhaling chin towards the fingertips and down inhaling back to center Big breath in, exhaling side stretch. Inhaling center, exhaling chin towards the shoulder and dropping the chin. And slowly back to center with the chin, releasing the shoulders. Let's do one more. Face down on your mat. Um, I'm going to show you two options. Let's do it two times each arm, or you can do it four times with both arms. Okay, left arm. Forehead down, feet pressing down, tailbone pressing down. Thumb of the left arm pointing up. Inhaling. Exhaling, lift the arm. Inhaling to the side. Exhaling, thumb pointing down. Inhaling, keep moving this arm back. Exhaling, lift if you can. And thumb towards the floor, going down to the side. Now thumb pointing up. So make sure you rotate from the shoulder. Okay, make sure you look here. It's not just the wrist. It's really from the shoulder and to the front let's do it one more time same arm or both arms okay left thumb pointing up to the ceiling inhaling exhaling lift inhaling side exhaling thumb down inhaling fingers pointing towards the feet and lift higher and lower the arm Let's bring it to the side. Inhaling, thumb up. Exhaling, front. And relax. Let's work on the other side. So I'm going to turn around so you can see me. Okay, arms extended. Right thumb pointing up. Forehead down. Inhale, exhaling, left. Inhaling, side. Exhaling, rotate from the shoulder, thumb down. And fingers towards the feet. See if you can lift higher. And lower. Side. Thumb pointing up. Back to center. Relax. Now if you're working both arms at the same time, okay, it might be more challenging to go higher. And if you have flexible shoulders, Interlace your fingers and left. So you get a little bit more 
intensity in your stretch. Let's do it one last time. Right thumb pointing up. Inhaling. Exhaling left. Inhaling side. Exhaling thumb down. Inhaling fingers across the feet. And left higher. And thumb moving down towards the floor. Side. Slowly rotate thumb up. Back to center. And relax. Place the hands underneath the shoulders. Coming off the floor. And inhaling cat. Exhaling cat. Inhaling. Exhaling cat. And back to center. Okay, so you can always come back to this video, share it with people who may need it or who you think might like it. And I'll try to do at least one of those exercises. If you tend to have tightness here, just do one exercise every day, just one. Hands to heart center. From my heart to yours with love, namaste. See you next Saturday.